name's Matt and I'm one of the keepers that works in Bugs and uh, this little pal here is an American cockroach. Um, not actually from America, actually originate from Asia. There's virtually nothing about the cockroach that isn't amazing. They are wonderful examples of animals fitting perfectly into their habitats. I mean they are supremely well designed to cope with virtually everything that the planet can throw at them. They can survive cold, heat, um, they can survive on the, the most meagre of food. They're wonderfully social, surprisingly. Uh, you've got these lovely long antennae, excellent for uh, checking out areas in the dark. It helps in communication. Cockroaches will touch antennae together and that way they can, um, in a way, talk to each other in the dark. And then you have these lovely large wings. Uh, not many people realise that these guys can fly and fly quite well. Um, it, the proviso for their flying is that it's warm enough. So in Britain they tend, tend not to fly that much, but if you ever encounter these guys on the continent, um, they fly incredibly well. You've got, at the tail end, two little spikes that stick out either side, and these are the Circe, and it's that part of their body that helps them avoid getting trodden on. Uh, very sensitive to vibrations and to um, the wind, and the slightest movement across them sends the cockroach scuttling away uh, into the dark. And these guys have reasonable eyesight as well, they've got very large compound eyes, so they're just as effective in light as they are in the dark, so very, very, very well adapted for uh, almost anywhere. Look at the head end, you've got just underneath the, the head two little projections that are tasting away, these are the pulps, and uh, it's just checking out whether to see how edible I am on either side of the abdomen, little holes, um, and unlike many insects, these guys can um, um, contract and expand their abdomen and force air inside their bodies. Uh, it's one of the limiting factors of insects is that uh, they don't breathe in and out like us, or most of them don't breathe in like us, uh, and they run out of oxygen quite quickly, but these guys can pump air into their bodies and that enables them to run faster and for longer. So. Uh, they are really quite a, an athlete of the insect world. They're, they're a, very robust and their body can go into a, basically a torpor um, and as air is trapped inside their body uh, they can survive on that for, for quite a long time so um, um, very difficult animals to, to eradicate. You know, a cockroach is incredible um, uh, grippers um, They've got a pair of claws at the end of each leg, uh, very sharp um, little, little um, claws at the end. Uh, so on rough surfaces that's good enough to grip. Um, but like many others they've got little hairs um, and oily secretion and that helps them also stick uh, to more shiny sur surfaces like glass. So um, no, climbing up uh, virtually anything is no problem for a cockroach. They are very smooth um, and that combined with the spines on their legs. So when you try to pick up a cockroach, um, basically it jams the spines into you and just pushes itself forward with, with quite a remarkable bit of strength. So it, when you try to pick them up, they can force their way out of your hand uh, remarkably easily. The other claim to fame with the cockroach is the speed with which they can run. And they are indeed one of the fastest land insects that you're ever likely to find. It's been calculated that they do around about seven to eight miles an hour, um, which if you think of, of their size uh, is, is really remarkable. You scale it up to a human size and, uh, and they really are shifting fast. Cockroaches themselves do very, very little harm to us. Um, they, they can carry diseases, um, but really that's only after we've introduced the disease to them. So if humans uh, are, are living in substandard conditions, then we can pass on, or, or the cockroaches can carry disease from one human to another. Um, but in themselves, they're really clean animals. Um, they will spend most of their day preening and cleaning themselves. What they'll do is they'll um, hook their leg over the top of the antennae and then pull it down, uh, and then with their incredibly complicated mouth parts, just run it through and uh, nibble off any contaminants that have got in there. And it's very important for them because again there is a certain amount of interaction with their fellow cockroaches and uh, if they don't smell right um, you know, it does work against them. 
Well, they won't get attacked or anything like with ants, but uh, it might not do much for their love life. Uh, again, the, the, one of the keys to the cockroach's success is the fact that they'll eat virtually everything. Um, you know, all the way from the insulation on electric cables, um, you know, to, to the food that we eat. Um, and they can also go for quite long periods of time without eating as well. So one of the stories that people tell about, you know, you must never tread on a cockroach because all the babies will spread everywhere. Um, it isn't true. Um, you know, the, the, the uh, babies are just as easily damaged as, as any small insect. But possibly the basis for this is that the cockroaches um, carry, it looks like a little brown purse and it sticks out the end of the uh, female's body um, and inside this are all the little eggs and it, but the case itself is very tough so you know if you were to tread on a cockroach the purse may well survive um, each little purse, they, actually, the purse is called the Nuthika uh, and inside those is somewhere in between uh, 15 to 20 babies um, and, but in a lifetime a female cockroach will produce uh, many of these um, you know, they're definitely more than sort of five or six. They live um, for about a year, and, and again, quite surprisingly, they do live um, in, in, in small colonies, and it, you know, it may be a bit of a surprise that, uh, that this has evolved over millions of years, uh, and ultimately has given us the termite, which is a, a truly social insect, um, with a king and a queen and workers, um, but, you know, quite different to ants, which, which is a purely female-based society, the termites are much more similar to our own, um, and termites are cockroaches. Uh, recent genetic works uh, has proved categorically that, uh, that they stem from the same uh, base animals, and there's actually very little difference between a cockroach and a termite. Though, as we said, termites aren't particularly loved either, are they? I mean, one of the other amazing things about the cockroaches, you're looking at this animal now, well, if you were around on this planet 350 million years ago, there'd be an animal almost identical to this. They've hardly changed at all in that time. They found a perfect way to live on this planet, and they stuck to that plan, and uh, very, very successfully. You know, cockroaches are found pretty much all over the world now. And uh, so it's a testament to just what an excellent bit of design you've got going there. Well, uh, there's several places you'll find cockroaches in the zoo. Um, obviously here in Bugs, uh, we have a, uh, this species. We also have the, the world's largest species of cockroach here um, from Brazil. Mm -hmm.